Hello, my name is Delilah and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're here, then you must like yarn. I love yarn. And you want to see what I got from Hobby Lobby because that's what I titled this video, I think. <laughs> so let's just get right into it, right? Um, I picked up these Breathe Deep Yarn Bees in the color Sage. I actually really love this yarn. I use this yarn quite often for pattern tests if it calls for worsted weight. And I, I just love it. So that's why I knew that I needed to get this yarn. I got four of them because it was going to be for a knit test. <laughs> and guess what? I did not get selected. So that's okay. I love this yarn, like I said. I use it often, so I know that it's gonna be used. It's fine. I also picked up, um, I love this cotton. And what color is this? Antique cream and antique gold. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So I picked up these. I picked up four. Well, it's still in the bag. Four of these, one of these. It was also for a knit test that I did not get chosen for. Actually, it was the same test. I wasn't sure what yarn I was gonna use. So this was gonna be for a cardigan, a knit um, cropped cardigan. And this was gonna be for the bralette underneath. I am still going to make that pattern when it releases, which is why I did not return the yarn. because. It was beautiful. I also picked up, um, I love this yarn and this print. It has, it's mainly like whites with pink and yellow in it. I, I got this because I'm making a blanket by Tony Lipsy from TL Yarn Crafts. I'm making the Bradley blanket and I needed this because I was running out. And I also picked up this for a knit cardigan that I'm making, a patchy cardigan. And I thought this was really nice to kind of just add in, you know, in all the different colors. This is um, Silver Mist and I love this yarn in the print. These are both from the print collection. So that's that. Then uh, my most recent Hobby Lobby trip, I bought, sorry for the sound, sorry. I bought this, I've already used it. Used what I needed from it. It's the Rainbow Rhapsody um, and Slate Divide. So it started off with a beige in the middle, like a cream color and then light pink and then went on. I use this for my pattern test for Stephanie that I, um, I just love when she comes out with summer designs. And this is the third top that I've made from her that I use Rainbow Rhapsody and I do some type of fade with it. I love it. They are my favorite. And it's just, it's just so pretty to me. So I got that. I also bought two of these. These are um, Blended Bliss Yarn Bee. It is a cotton and acrylic, 56 cotton, 35% acrylic. I bought two of these for a Stephanie Aaron test, of course. It's gonna be a beaded tank, so I got this for that, which, yes, I was selected for it. I bought the yarn because I needed it. Okay, next that I got was this. I love this yarn, also print in, uh, what's the name, so sorry, Black Marble. I bought this for a test, but I could not achieve gauge. The pattern called for a bogey five or um, a ran yarn, um, heavy worsted, which this is to me a heavy worsted, but I just could not meet gauge um, And it was just too holy and I didn't like how it looked so I ended up using something else But if this is okay that I have this because it's actually going into a patchy cardigan that I really wanted and to be honest I think that this yarn 
And just any yarn in general looks really good knitted. It just doesn't look the same when it's crocheted. I love crochet, don't get me wrong, but when you can knit, um, when you can knit something with just plain old acrylic yarn, it looks so good. So I will probably make a sweater with that because I have two of them. So. And then I got these hand dyed, these hand dyed yarns. Um, I've never used hand dyed yarn before. I don't really buy it often. I don't live in an area where I could just get mail to myself. When I go to Hobby Lobby, I have to travel really far to go. So it's not something that I do often. Um, and I, yeah, I just, the whole mailing system. And I just never really use hand dyed yarn. I have some, but I'm so scared to use it. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. I got this in spa this is not a color that i would completely really be like oh that's what i want but i'm doing a test for a wonderful friend and i've gauged with another one of these and i met gauge and everything was fine but i just wasn't feeling the color so when i went back to hobby lobby i thought i need something that is going to make me feel um, I, I tried thinking about the designer, thinking about the design itself, and when I saw this, I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be so pretty. So I got two of them. Um, it's going to be for a cropped tee, and I'm very excited. I also got one of these. It's a um, Vel Forever Plush in Perugian Blue. I bought these because my daughter asked for a one of those bucket hats, those 90s bucket hats that are trending now on TikTok. So I, what I'm not gonna show you too is that I also bought, I bought two of these and I bought two grayish ones because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need. Turns out I only need one to make a bucket hat in her size. So I bought two gray ones, made that already, and I bought two blue ones because I thought I wanna make a bucket hat for myself too. And I thought, oh my gosh, it'd be so cute. Yes, it is velvet. It sounds like it's gonna be hot, but I live on the coastal, I live in a coastal area, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I just thought this would be so cute. I'm thinking like a white skirt with this summer crop top and this cute little bucket hat. I think it sounds cute. So I got this for fun. And then I also, picked up some extra beads um this is gonna go for this is gonna go with this yarn i think i like it for the beaded tank by stephanie aaron so we'll see how that goes the beads go on the sleeve so that's pretty much it that is all i got i'm very happy when i buy yarn it makes me feel good and I love it when I can buy it for something I mean we all love yarn and we all just want to buy it just because but you know when you have a project in mind that feels even so much more better yes I didn't get selected for those that knit test that's okay because I do plan on making that object when it comes out and I do plan on using this for another test because I just love this yarn I may just even make a knit cardigan in this because it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, I've always wanted to make a haul video like this. I'm really excited that I did it. Um, I love watching haul videos. I love watching Hobby Lobby haul videos because I go to Hobby Lobby a lot and like to see what people are getting. Um, but I just feel like I've watched them all. <laughs> So I thought, why not make one of my own? Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too fast. Um, I don't want to make it too long or too chatty. So anyways, thank you guys for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.